or Demi Moore, terrorizes uh, her, uh, and her life hangs in the balance of uh, a mob uh, trial. So here he is, Mr. Alec Baldwin. Somebody, that's all. <laughs> you know, the guys tell me that this morning uh, Alec was being driven up 67th Street, which I've talked about on this show many, many times, the terrible traffic on this street. Yes. Finally had to stop his car, get out of the car, no! and direct traffic. I did. Let's go this way. I did. Yeah, somebody has to. You do come it. here. There's a gar there was a garbage truck blocking the street. I know. Every and day we're of waiting our lives. And we're every day of your life. So yeah. what did you do? But you two helicoptered to the no, rooftop. No, 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 no. <laughs> and come so down. So what did you do? Did you get out of the car and, and tell the guy to move on? I or? got well. I got out and I said, uh, "Could you move so I could go do this television show?" I mean, we can't wait. And he kind of looked at me like, "Yeah, that's great, pal." <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't kept putting garbage. You? Yeah, I think one, maybe one of the guys did. The guy was like, you know, hey, Joe, I think he's a movie actor. <laughs> and the guy was like, yeah, that's great, Bill. And they just kept doing Aren't the garbage. They They've got their job to do. Hey, congratulations yeah. on the yeah. little girl. Yeah, yeah, Ireland. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ireland Baldwin. I have to. I have to thank you. Because I got a package, and we got your book and the disc. And my wife has been reading me at night clips of your book with Cody. Something weird about excerpt. that. Well, should we, well, I think I know more about your son's <laughs> toilet training than I ever thought I would know. And I never no, cared. No, I think we all oh, know I'm about so that. <laughs> is she playing the little record for him? Because yes. I hear he's sleeping through the night. Yeah. Uh, she is. She, she, she is, yeah. yeah. And you are too, I hope. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's, it's been fantastic. This is the I can't believe this happened to you. Yeah, well. You're like the Lyndon Johnson of today's shows now, showing your scars, you know? Well, everything goes. Well, you see, it's such a big, obvious bandage that uh, people are going to wonder what it is. And if I don't talk about it, they'll think I it's I wouldn't worse. let him show the kidney stones, but that I said, <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the first born in your house? This is my wife and I, our first kid. Yes. And my, what's the hardest thing about the change you're going through? Like. Um, oh, I guess the hardest thing is uh, getting up. The my wife and... ignores me. Now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Get used to that, pal. Yeah, that's, yeah, good. Yeah. that's good for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's really true. Yeah. I mean, I'm out. I'm like the doorman. Because you don't I'm have the, the same needs, you know. And I know yeah. you understand it intellectually, but it's. Hard, I'm sure. It's lonely. It's lonely. It's lonely. <laughs> Alec no. Baldwin is lonely. No. No. Listen, you were absolutely fabulous on Saturday Night Live, and incidentally, he and Tori Amos co-hosted Saturday Night Live two weeks ago, and they're it's together on our show. Me. But but here's what happened: they have a new thing on Saturday Night Live, which is right, the Joe Pesci Just talk use show. Just your right hand. The Joe Pesci talk show. Right. And so. Alec was playing Bobby De Niro on the thing, and you were absolutely oh, wonderful. Can, can you do it for me right now? I'm oh, Joe I, Pesci. I, I, Please, I, I can't, just, just I can't, give me the look. So, hey, hey, no, you're on me. I Two can't. shot here. Okay. <laughs> so then I'm saying, all right, so anyway, he was a really, she's a good looking girl, huh? You know, really a good looking girl, wouldn't you say so, Bobby? She was good looking, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Baldwin, our guest, we were talking at, uh, during the intermission here about uh, what's going on and, in our business and the paparazzi and how much bolder they become over the years and provocative as well. And some guys are, are lashing out, lashing back, uh, Tony Danza, yourself. Uh, and uh, how do you feel about this situation? I heard you talking about it on Entertainment Tonight this week. It's just, it's weird because everywhere I go, I mean, even in your building, I went into the makeup room and some guy says to me, I just want to say one thing to you. I'm, I'm all for you, what you did, and mm -hmm. blah, blah. And, uh, I mean, I get this incredible reaction from people about wanting to protect your wife and your kid. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is that I dispute what the guy said happened. I didn't punch the guy you in the face. You didn't punch him. But you know? aren't they becoming more and more provocative, and sometimes in hopes that you will that hit you them will. and you'll get a million yeah. dollar lawsuit? I have, I've had people come up to me and you see them bait you. And, mm -hmm. then, and then you can see that they want something. And, and if they don't get it, they're extremely disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. They don't get what they, they, they want you to slug them. And on the other hand, a lot of people will say, hey, look, just stand still, let them take the picture and go on with your life. You know what it is, is that if I go, <clears throat> as you do, to all these venues and mm -hmm. these things where people can see you, while you go to screenings and parties mm -hmm. and you know anything where you're out there. You know, you're, you're out there and you're very happy to do that kind of thing. But I live pretty far from uh, ground zero in, in Hollywood. We mm -hmm. live outside of town. So this guy coming all this way to my house and standing in my driveway, it gave me like this kind of stalker feeling. You know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it also creepy. it's your child they're trying to get. Exactly. If it wasn't my kid involved, I wouldn't yeah. bother. Yeah. That, that's yeah. If it were just Kim, I would say, oh, you want her picture? Come on over here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 20 bucks? Here yeah. we go. 
you know. I'll hold her. I'll hold her. <laughs> Speaking of stalkers, you you play one in the new movie, The Juror. Huh? I do. Well, yeah. And kind of a scary guy. Yeah. Now, you know, people yeah. are, are leery enough about serving on juries. Is this going to frighten them even more? Well, no. Because, Only you know, a mob trial jury. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is a, a, a mafia thing. Mm. But uh, this movie was something that I really wanted to do because I've always wanted to work with Demi, who uh -huh. I've known for a long time, sure. her and Bruce. And uh, and uh, although I will say this is uh, this is like, I think this is the last of those kinds of movies I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. Because it's kind of tough, you know. Mm -hmm. so. Well, I heard you say the other day, too, that you're not even sure you want to keep doing this fatherhood thing. Is I don't want to work. And you don't want to leave for a long time. I don't want to leave my house. Yeah. I really don't. I, I left to come here uh, on Wednesday, and uh, I kept changing my flight. Later and later. I was leaving at noon, three, four, <laughs> red eye, <laughs> so I could stay home with my kid. Yeah, yeah. it's nice. It's hard to leave the house. Alec Baldwin, to be more, the Jura opens today all over America. Alec, thanks so much. Thank you. Good luck to you. You've got to. Always love to have you. Please give Tim the baby.